any institution that controls centralized power and has mass control over a large number of people is always going to be seen as a, as a threat. And it's, it's not just with tech companies. I mean, even multinationals in oil, in retail, there's always that challenge. For me, it is about how you regulate them. They're necessary evil, effectively. You need to have, for you to be able to have global communication, there needs to be a global company that is able to create a global platform for me in Ghana to be able to communicate with someone in Berlin or someone in, in Mexico. And so you would always have these huge multinationals. And I think it's a good thing. What we need to do is begin to look at the regulation around the operations and ensure that they don't become laws unto themselves and that they do not have too much power resident within them and that international governments and international organizations are able to have a framework, a global framework that regulates their operations in the developed world and in the developing world. Because for me, that's where the real challenge is. The, the fact that there are two paradigms where the, the rules that govern the likes of Google and Facebook and the United States are different from the rules that they play by when they come to developing countries. And so it's creating that level playing field across board. That for me uh, is, is where we should focus on. Having the international or huge global conglomerates that control business or control communication for me is not a problem at all.